Hi YouTube, I'm going to be doing my pregnancy vlog for week 15. I am 15 weeks and let's see, Friday. Yeah, 15 weeks and 5 days pregnant. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, circumcision. I know this is quite a heated topic with very many people. Um, but basically, I don't have any problem with it. Um, I think that if the baby is a boy, he will be circumcised. My first son was circumcised. The baby's father is circumcised. So it kind of, it just works out best for us, I guess. Um, so that's the plan as far as that goes and like I said I know it's quite a heated topic and a lot of people have their own opinions and they've made their own decisions whatever works for them in my opinion is you know the best decision for them so yeah that's pretty much all I gotta say on that but if the baby is a boy he will be, be he will be circumcised okay so the second thing I want to talk about is breastfeeding I do plan on breastfeeding. Um, I did breastfeed my first son um, for a, quite a while. Well, not quite a while, but a while. And it, everything was fine, um, but we did run into a few things. Uh, he stopped latching on. He would not latch on. I kept trying numerous different things um, to try and help him to get him to latch back on. Because he just like, one, it was like he woke up one day and he just stopped. And we went, I went and saw a lactation consultant, and I went and talked to a public health nurse. Um, I talked to my doctor. I, like, read about different things online. I tried to research it and get as much information as I could. And I went, I actually went to a breastfeeding group, a uh, breastfeeding support group. And so, like, there's many options out there if you are having problems breastfeeding to try and help you so you can maintain that for however long you want to breastfeed. Um, but hopefully things go better uh, this time around. I'm hoping that I can breastfeed this baby, like, really soon after birth. I kind of want to get that going. I don't want to wait. Like, I had to wait a while after I um, had my first son. We couldn't breastfeed right away, I had to wait. So, I'm hoping that that won't happen and we can just get right into it after he's born. Like, we don't have to wait that a big period of time or anything. Okay, so uh, the third thing I want to talk about is cloth diapering. I am planning on cloth diapering. Um, I've been looking on different websites, looking around, trying to find some good deals. I want to go with Fuzzy Buns, I'm thinking, and maybe a few others, but I think Fuzzy Buns is going to be the main diaper that we use. I've just heard so many good things about it, and I've actually heard better things about the ones that were made in China, but unfortunately they're not being made there anymore, they're only being made in Turkey now, so... I'm trying to find China ones that are made in China, but I'm not having very much luck doing that. So what I'm going to do is I've heard that the Fuzzy Buns Elite are quite a bit better than just the regular ones made in Turkey. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with them and I'm actually probably going to, well, I don't, I'm not 100% on this yet, but I know this one website, um, it's actually locally, well, not locally owned, but the headquarters, I guess, for the website is um, a couple hours away from where I live. So I'm going to probably order some Elite from that, uh, some Fuzzy Buns Elite from them. And um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for them. I, ta I was talking to one of the ladies and she said that they'll be getting some stock in sometime this month. So I'm going to check back later and possibly place an order with them to get some. Um, okay, I'm also going to pump. I want to try and pump, um, milk to try and get, um, like a stock, I guess, stockpile up of it. Um, and I'm going to also freeze it, obviously. I do have a Medela pump in style, because I did pump with my last son. I, um, used it almost every day. Actually, probably every day I pumped. 
So I'm kind of want to get that going and you know, I've already I already have the breast pump, so it's kind of makes sense to just go ahead and after the baby's born to pump and get some milk saved up because I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I'm in school right now, so you know, there might be times where I can't be with the baby and, you know, I still want him to have the breast milk or him or her <laughs> to have the breast milk. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the belly book again. I don't know. I hope you can see this. Anyways, um, I filled out quite a few pages. Um, I'm not going to read to you what I filled out on the pages, but I have done quite a bit more in this. So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying filling this out. It's nice to keep kind of like a journal thing to look back on and um, be able to just, you know, like show your child when they get older, they might want to see that or, you know, for yourself to look back on just to remember. Because, I mean, if you don't write it down, you might not remember it and then you won't have that memory to look back on so yeah it's kind of a nice thing to have um the next thing is pregnancy passport um so I did fill this out um when I went to the doctors my doctor appointment was yesterday and so this is also really nice to have if your doctor gives them away or like your public health unit definitely take one and fill it out because I'm sorry, my hair is just getting in my face so much. But, um, yeah, definitely fill it out. And um, it's another nice thing to have and look back on. So, the next thing, doctor's appointment. It was yesterday, and it went really good. I'm really excited. I got to hear the heartbeat for the first time. And the doctor said it was between um, 135 and 140. I think it's beats per minute, if that's, that's correct, I hope. <laughs> And, um, yeah, it was really cool. Um, I lost six pounds since my last doctor's appointment, um, but the doctor said I'm, that's still okay. Um, and he also told me he said I was a model for um, healthy pregnancies, so that was kind of cool. Like, just what you should do and how your body should be and everything is so healthy. He's like, yeah, you could be a model for healthy pregnancies. Um, okay, um, I booked my 3D, 4D appointment for ultrasound, like I said I was going to, and, um, that is going to be sometime in January, but I'm not sure if I want to find out the sex anymore. I was really set on it before, but I've kind of been talking to a few different people and just, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I kind of want that surprise, so... I don't know, I'm just going to see how I feel as time goes on and then make a decision. Maybe even when I get there, just, you know, how what I want to do. Because I could have, be like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to find out. And then walk in there and, you know, it'd be like so close. Like, she could tell me and then I might change my mind. But we'll just see how things go. But right now I'm kind of leaning towards more of I don't want to know. I want it to be a surprise when the baby's born. Um... My doctor also sent away a request to get an ultrasound um, yesterday, so I guess I'll, they'll either be calling me or sending me uh, something in the mail telling me when I need to go in and get my ultrasound done, so I'm pretty excited about that. And that's just the regular ultrasound like that they do to make sure everything's going okay and whatnot. And um, the last thing I want to talk about is... Um, I talked to my doctor again about uh, VBACs and he said he doesn't have, he doesn't think there will be an issue for me getting a VBAC. Um, he said we'll just have to see as time goes on. But he said in, like, he said he doesn't think it will be an issue. Um, he did tell me the risks though, but he said they're really small, like there's not a high chance that anything can go wrong. So far, I mean, it could change throughout the pregnancy, who knows, something could happen, but he said right now he thinks it will be okay, but we just got to see as the pregnancy progress. So, um, I think that's about all I've got to talk about for week 15, and yeah, I guess I will see you for week 16. Okay, bye YouTube!